Let's let them know who really got it. Came up from the bottom, now we riding in a mozzie. And these my jealous done burnt to hold in my pocket. See me, I'm shining. Yo, what's going on guys? It is your boy Bugs, and today guys, let me tell y'all why Multiverse is going to be the game of the year of 2022. Now, I probably won't. It definitely is going to be a contender. Only time can tell if it truly will be the game of the year, but, you know, we'll have to see at the end of the year. But I can say, and 100% my opinion, but do feel like Multiverses will be the biggest fighting game. And I know a lot of people are going to say, no, you're wrong. Do you not know these other fighters, these other traditional fighters? Do you not know Smash? Like, there's nothing that could beat these old games. And this is why I'm making this video, guys. I'm trying to tell y'all and try to show y'all proof and ideas why this game is going to be humongous this game is what i call the fortnite of fighters because of how big this game is going to be and let's get straight into it guys now first thing that's the reason why this game is going to be such a huge success and big is one guys the game is free to play a lot of devs are finally understanding like yeah free to play is the way because you know some people can't afford games or don't prefer to buy games and this gives everyone a chance to try a game without feeling like they're putting money into it and be like oh i don't like it and then feel like they wasted the money so Right there, that's a big step for a reason why multiverse is going to be a big thing. Second reason why is that it is cross progression and cross play. Not only that, you're allowed to play on different consoles or platforms um, on the same account and save all your stuff. It is cross play, as in you're able to play with all your friends no matter what platform you're on. So, you know, say you are a diehard Sony fan, but your friend is a diehard dog. Never mind. Um, <laughs> an Xbox player. It's okay. Yeah, I could play with each other, and that's amazing. You know, all these games are finally, you know, opening up to that, and I think, you know, it's the best thing that has ever happened to gaming is to be able to play on any platforms with everybody. You know, I think that's amazing. So those are the two biggest factors I can say why this game is going to be successful. And the third one is that look at these iconic characters, guys. We have Harley Quinn playing with Bugs Bunny, going against Harley Quinn and a Superman. Talk about Arya Stark, Finn, Garnett. Taz and much much more guys i understand you know traditional games you know mortal kombat and stuff or smash you know with the iconic characters that we know and love from gaming you know like mega man and all that stuff but i don't know i feel like most i feel like we've seen it for so long that this is so brand new and refreshing that's gonna open the eyes up to a lot of new um people because not a lot of people play fighting games because you know well i mean i feel like fighting games was like a big thing back then but the reason why people don't play a lot of fighting games now is because not that it's hard it's more that it's one-on-one -on -one and there's so many multiplayer games that it kind of just gets old and that goes into my next topic about that this game is going to be 2v2 now i know this is not the first game to do 2v2s um in fighting but this is the first game that has prioritized it and made it its main game mode you know it's built for 2v2s you know so it's gonna make it more fun and just more unique in the whole fighting scene and stuff and i kind of gonna go jump right back to what i was talking about with the whole character stuff and like i said the reason why um well i didn't say this before but the reason why this game is not called warner brother brawlers and stuff is because that they want um any characters to be possible you know they want anime they want cartoons they want shoot probably even movies and stuff to um to be released and i know a lot of people are probably insane but right now it's only warner um characters the reason why it's only warner Bros. characters right now is because it is you know their ips and that was the easiest to get when the game gets more successful and more people have their eyes on it i'm pretty sure a lot of other ips are going to be down to get their characters in their game and that moves on to our next thing which is that not only that we have iconic characters we have unique and i say unique very very unique gameplay guys like i know a lot of people can compare some of their movesets to other game and other characters but when you generally play this game guys it doesn't feel like any other fighter. It doesn't feel like any traditional fighter, platform fighter. It feels like its own game. And I know already a lot of people, when they see this game, it's like, oh, Smash clone. Guys, this game does not play like Smash as, as uh, any bit. And then I know the next thing is, oh, it's a Brawlhalla clone. Guys, this game plays nothing like Neo's game. Yeah, they have similarities. When I tell you that, guys, this game is so different. It is so, so different. And the next thing that's going to drive this game, now a lot of people might not agree with it because they feel like not all games need to be competitive, but there is a foundation on esports for this game already. And if you don't believe me, here's proof. There's a 100k tournament for this game, a LAN tournament at EVO, one of the biggest fighting game um, LAN centers or LAN events for fighting. And, and, and the game is not even out, guys. If y'all don't know, the game is not out yet. The game is coming out this July, finally. And they already confirmed a 100k tournament for this game. 
they want a foundation for this game you know a lot of games wait until the game gets bigger or you know see the love and interest for the game to be like okay now we're going to um you know put at esports and you know build something Multiverse said, nah, we want to show you that we are interested of having an esports for this game. We are interested to grow this game. So if you're a fighting player, even if you're not a fighting player, you know, but it, this is more of talk to the FGC guys that are like competing in other games. For example, Smash. If, if you don't know, Smash tournaments are all community ran. I did not know that. And when I learned that, it felt so painful to know that because it's like, I know that community is huge when it comes to their esports, bro, and their land centers are go crazy. So to find out that all, like I want to say 95%, right, is all community ran, is just crazy how Nintendo doesn't back up the game. And it's okay, guys. It's okay that they don't back up the game now, because now you have multiverses. And I know a lot of you know diehards gonna be like, no, never, I'll never leave Smash, which is fine, you know, I understand. But I'm telling y'all guys, it is not worth it. You are looking for esports in the fighting scene with amazing prize pools as i said 100k for their first event already the game's not even out come to multiverses guys give the game a try and i know it's gonna be a learning curve and you know you might not like it because it's not the same as your old game but guys trust me if you truly want to make a career out of it it's gonna be worth it and i know some people already you know kind of walked away like ugh, esports no don't worry guys there's gonna be a lot of stuff for casuals again I don't like to talk about leaks on my channel, and I'm not going to do it. At least un until the game is fully out, I don't think it's fair to talk about the leaks that they have planned to surprise everybody. So I'm going to save that. But I will say, if you are interested in leaks, you know, look up on Twitter. You'll probably find some YouTube channels, other people that's already talking about it. And let's say that there's going to be a lot to this game for esports and casuals. They're literally um, supporting both sides. They're not playing favors on one side. They're supporting both sides. Like I said... I'm not going to talk about it, but most likely you're going to see comments talking about leaks um, on this channel. And then you're going to see, you know, if you, if you want to go look for it, literally go look on YouTube, Multiverses Leaks, Twitter, Multiverses Leak. You're going to find a lot of stuff that's going to surprise you. Now, obviously, take it with Soda Green. Probably not everything is true and, you know, could be scrapped and other stuff. But from me knowing PFG and what's going to go into my next topic is that they want to deliver and they want this game to be huge. And how I know they want this game to be huge is because of their co-founder, Tony. Guys, when I say this is probably the best dev I've ever talked to and just know and see what he does for the community and the love that he has for this game and the community is just out of his world, guys. Now, I understand, you know, other devs, you know, talk, but I don't think anyone can beat what Tony does for, the, for, this, for his community, guys. Like, he talks to everybody, you know. I feel like other devs talk to like their pro players and their content creators and maybe one or two you know random people that they see here and there on their tweets and like etc but i don't think anyone truly talks to tony i mean talks like how tony talks to his community when i say tony talks to everybody guys i'm talking about everybody like when when i was in the play test or whatever he was fine talking to us about this and that and what they want to work on what they want to improve he was also asking us what we would like to see and stuff and i just feel like i never really see any other devs really do that and like, like i said even on top of that going on to um like twitter bro he answers and like he he talks to the community a co-founder that's supposed to be busy building his game when he has time on his free time actually talks back to his community man it's just crazy and when i say he listens guys he listens and it's just crazy how like he actually wants to take other feedback from people and from the community and not just be like oh we're making this game how we make it is how we make it and you know y'all just gonna enjoy it no he's like hmm if y'all don't like this we're gonna do this oh this is kind of busted we're gonna do this and do that and change this and it's just crazy to me how dedicated he is not only him the team too but just like on the talkative side of with the community and i love to hear um, other devs because we definitely talk to other devs but he is the most, like I said, active one out of all of them. And it's just wild to me of how love and effect that they have for this game and for the community. It's not going to be one-sided, guys. They want to support both sides. They want this game to be... This game will be a AAA game when it releases. And it will be one of the top games in Twitch and YouTube. I'm telling you, guys. This game is not like any other fighters, like I said, with the whole 2v2 system that they want in this game. And like I said, the leak stuff that could or could not be true. Like I said, I don't like talking about it. But, you know, I'm just, this video is literally to kind of convince y'all or like give y'all the idea of like, hey, give this game a try. So that's why I'm talking about it and giving y'all ways to go look for it if y'all want to. 
like i said i'm down with leaks after the game is released you know when they fully get their game out and then you know the leaks are going to be like what character could possibly come and you know all this stuff but as of right now i don't want to talk about it but yeah um and then i'm not sure if i talk about this already but like i said the gameplay guys these characters play so unique and the best one i could talk about is tom and jerry if you haven't noticed or haven't seen really gameplay if you go watch any tom and jerry gameplay tom and jerry aren't fighting anybody they're fighting each other <laughs> like that is so just different and unique and like again with the characters in this game like with the sword characters like finn and Arya and is there and, and wonder woman they all play different you know how most you know sword people you know do the same thing they probably have different like ups and down and stuff but like they're neutral or their normal attack like their side attacks are kind of the same this game guys everything is different it just it just feels unique and that's what they want that's what they want with this game they want all these characters that to come alive as their characters they want you when you play these characters to be like oh yeah this is how i saw this character being played as like for example velma velma is so unique when they told us velma was coming out i'm sitting here like what could she do the only moveset i could think this girl can have was dropping her glasses and guess what it actually is a moveset but just how instead of her like atta attacking or fighting like normal people she does sass she has a microphone she calls the police on people it's just so different and unique man like i like if you don't know guys i'm not even a fighting good guy i am not part of the fgc community i am a shooter my whole entire life and for the fact that i have something like this that caught my attention and not only i caught my attention like oh yeah this seems like fun to play but like actually put hours and grind into it and like you know go with the youtubing and streaming and the pro strat um um route on this game is just crazy to me man and i'm telling y'all give this game a try if you are an fgc player that generally want love and affection from devs that actually care man give this game a try and i know a lot of people can be like nah it's not my type of thing even if you don't play fighters give this game a try you never know where you're gonna love until you actually play it and like i said there's gonna be more than just fighting in this game again not gonna talk about the leaks but go look for yourself and go look in the comments i'm pretty sure people's gonna have it in the comments and yeah i'm gonna stop the rant 12 minutes in i'm gonna stop <laughs> Leave a like if you like the video, guys. Comment about anything. You know, I love y'all comments. I love replying to y'all, so I can't wait to see what y'all got to say. And also other comments that, you know, hopefully this helped you and persuade you into actually giving this game a try. Or shoot, leave some comments to persuade other people that are watching this video that, you know, read comments and want to see, oh, yeah. All right. This comment kind of made me more into the game than, you know, watching the video and stuff. And this is your first time I ever watched one of my videos. Or you have been watching my videos. And you have the subscribe button, guys. What are you doing? If you love multiverses or you are very interested or curious about multiverses, hit the subscribe button, guys. I drop beautiful, beautiful gameplay. I drop amazing tips and tricks, news, updates, and the esports of multiverses is going to be a lot down on my channel, guys. And that's it for my video. And I hopefully I convinced ya. And I'm out, guys. Peace. Yeah, she got a man, she don't really give a fuck about left him back home in a whole nother state. Moved to LA cause she wanna be famous. Got a nine to five on the side, she a waitress, but it's getting tough. Hard to find